Hey guys, so today we're going to go over how to install your WordPress on your local host. So the first thing is first, let's go ahead and go to WordPress.org. And we're going to install the latest version of WordPress. I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel. You can go ahead and download it. And here it is in the download folder, WordPress. We're going to be using this in a little bit. Next up, let's go ahead and start our servers for our local host. So go ahead and go click on start servers. Mine's already started and click on open start page. And also what I want you to make sure is that right here in your preferences, uh, in your Apache, you created a, a document root that's in your user folder and that you label local host. Trust me, it's going to make things a lot easier. Okay. And this corresponds with this one right here, as you can see local host. So here in the start page, let's go ahead and go on the top and go to PHP My Admin, where we're going to create a new database for your WordPress folder. Here in create new database, type in WordPress, and we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom to UTF-8 underscore Unicode underscore CI. Go ahead and click create. I've already created it, but I want you to click on it. And your database has been created. Now that your database has been created, Go over to your finder, and in your localhost folder, you should see a folder named WordPress. Um, I found that sometimes this doesn't happen, so if not, go ahead and create a new folder and name it WordPress. I've already done that, so we don't need to do it now. Now what we're going to do is in the WordPress folder, we're going to install, or we're going to drop in all of the WordPress files. Okay, But before we do that, let's go to the WordPress folder. And right here, you're gonna you're not gonna have this wp-config.php yet. You're gonna create that right now. All you're gonna see is wp-config-sample.php. Open that. And I'm using Text Wrangler right now for my Mac. And over here on the left, you're gonna see a place to put your database name, your username, your user password, and uh, host name is localhost. Okay, this is what I want you to change it to. Database name should be WordPress. Database user user should be root, database password should be root, and leave the database host alone. And that is all you need to do. When you save it, make sure that you go to File, Save As, and you save it as wp-config.php and remove the sample from it. Okay? Perfect. So now you can see you have your wp-config.php folder. And what you're going to do is pretty much as simple as drag and drop. So I'm going to highlight all of this and I'm going to go ahead and drop it in here. I've already done that so I'm not going to do it but I want you guys to do it and once you've done that we're going to go ahead and install it. So go back to your browser. Okay so let's make sure that the localhost is working. On the top let's go to the localhost and if you've done it correctly you'll have a WordPress folder here. So we have to go ahead and install it actually. So let's go to localhost wordpress slash wp dash admin slash install dot php so this is gonna prompt the install I've already installed it so that's why I get the already installed but you're just gonna have to follow those steps and just install it it's pretty simple very self-explanatory and once you do have it installed if you do go to your localhost and click on the wordpress it'll take you to your wordpress page and it's a beautiful thing. If you guys have any questions about how to install WordPress on your local host, just shoot me a comment or an email. Thanks, guys.